Hey guys, welcome to Priceless B Movies. You know, for a few of my reviews, in fact, just recently in a couple of my reviews, I've had to stop and point out the MPAA and how full of shit they are. And especially how full of shit they were in the late 80s to early 90s when it came to slasher movies, because this film is the prime example of how their vendetta against slasher movies and wanting to take out all the violence and all the sex and all that rendered the movie completely unintelligible. Psycho Cop Returns. Psycho Cop Returns is the sequel to a movie called Psycho Cop, which I'm choosing not to review for you because I don't want to sit through it again. It's that simple. I really just don't want to watch the first Psycho Cop again. But getting back to Psycho Cop Returns, it stars Bobby Ray Schaefer as Officer Vickers. Officer Joe Vickers. This is a man I would love to meet at a convention, by the way. He's kind of a staple, almost like uh, Angela in Night of the Demons in terms of a uh, low-budget slasher franchises. And uh, Officer Joe Vickers, his whole thing is he's not a real cop. He is a devil worshiper who makes human sacrifices, but he's dressed like a cop and acts like a cop. And, God, I love movies like this. Because it's so great. Like, you're, you're, you have a movie that where it's a slasher film and you want to take it seriously, but you know what? He just draws his gun and he fires and shoots someone in the head and then he goes up to the corpse and just starts handcuffing him like, you have the right to remain dead. You have the right to an attorney, but it won't help you because you're dead. The fact is, the teenager in me loves shit like that. I love dark humor and I love kind of the craziness of these kinds of movies. Now, that being said... This film is about Vickers invading a bachelor party in this high-rise and uh, basically killing off the uh, guys holding the party and some hookers that they invited in, as well as a couple other random people in the building. So much for plot, because that really is the plot of the movie. <laughs> it never gets any more intelligent than that. This is a slasher movie, people. The, the, this is not meant to be smart. This is meant to be just really, really fun. Unfortunately... When you watch Psycho Cop Returns, if you watch Psycho Cop Returns, I have to issue a warning to you. There are two versions of this film, and I said something similar a little while back when I reviewed Color of Night. This is one of those movies where how much fun you'll have watching it really depends on which version you're watching. The first version of this film is what you find on most VHSs and the DVD that was released. This DVD on the back says, Rated R for violence, gore, and for sexuality, and for language. Now, while there is a lot of language in this, and there is a lot of sexuality, at least in terms of there's a lot of boobs and ass shots in this movie, there is next to no violence. This is a lie. This is a falsity. There's next to no on-screen violence in this film. Because when the MPAA rated Psycho Cop Returns, they didn't really know what to trim, so they ended up taking out whole sequences. I'll give you an example. There's one point where you see the, the psycho cop, you see Vickers behind a guy, and then it immediately cuts to this guy with a fake-looking rubber axe in his back. And it's kind of like, okay, so he obviously hit him with an axe at some point, but why didn't I see that? What was so bad about that? There's also a scene that's just downright laughable, where someone opens a door and Vickers runs in with a big spear and it cuts from him running in the door with a spear to him standing in the doorway making some pun about the death and you don't even see the death. You don't even know what he just did. They took out the entire kill, not just a couple of shots in it. This is why the MPA really pisses me off. If you're watching just the R-rated version of this film, good luck to you. You're not going to see any of the kills in that movie. At least not the entirety of them. On the other hand, I have some good news for you. It recently came to my attention that a couple of different people have posted the unrated version of this film on YouTube. That's right. As soon as you're done watching this video, you can actually look up Psycho Cop Returns or Psycho Cop 2 unrated and find the full version of this movie should you want to. And if you can... You can't go wrong. This is, if you see it in its unrated glory, a very funny and very crazy slasher movie. Psycho Cop Returns, at least the unrated version of Psycho Cop Returns, gets three stars. 
This is a nice, fun, chill, low-budget horror movie. And I think no matter who you are, you will find something to laugh at or something to be entertained by in this movie. It has it all and is incredibly underrated. So that's my review of Psycho Cop Returns. Stay tuned. I got a lot more reviews coming your way. So that's my review of Psycho Cop Returns. Stay tuned. I got a lot more reviews coming your way. The next two reviews on my docket are uh, The Crush, starring Alicia Silverstone, and No Escape, starring Ray Liotta. Sometime in the next week, I will record those reviews and post them on my site. As always, if you can think of a film that's either underappreciated or overlooked, and you would like to know what I think of it, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do about checking out a copy of that movie and putting up a review for you. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Priceless B-Movies.